Hey everyone, Jason Croxford here, co-founder of TLR, and this video, I'm going to answer a question for you, and that question is, how do you set up a domain that you have with GoDaddy already when you've purchased your hosting with HostGator and you have your blog set up there? How do you link the two together? That's what I'm going to answer here for you. So just uh, an idea here, just to give you an example. Say I have purchased the domain www.jasoncroxford.com at GoDaddy. And then I went and purchased my hosting at HostGator.com where I wanted to set up the blog to link to that domain or vice versa. So this is what you do. It's very simple. When you sign up for your HostGator hosting, this is where you're going to find the information. You're going to need two things. Uh, they're just, well, it's your name servers. And in the email that you received when you signed up and paid for your hosting with HostGator, whatever email you put in that account came with your name servers. So I hope you saved that email uh, because that's going to be the easiest way to find it. There's other ways, but I'm going to really just go forward here that you save the email because you should. So go to that email right now. What you do is you find, it'll have your login information, all that stuff, just the, the basically the your account information when you set up your HostGator hosting. Find the name servers right in that email. There's going to be two of them. What you do is just simply do this. I'm going to go to my GoDaddy. I'm going to log in here, and I'm going to show you. Let me go to my domain. Okay. Now, what I want to do here is... Actually, let me just make this easier for you. I just logged in. So what you do on the left-hand side here where it says Domains, Domain Manager, under My Products, that's where I want to go. So I'm opening that up right now. It's going to take just a moment to load. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm just going to click on the domain I want to modify. So I'm clicking this now. It's going to take another moment to load. Keep in mind, when you modify stuff like this, it takes time. This is not going to be instantaneous. So you're going to have to have some patience here and uh, find some other stuff to fill in the time here. Maybe write an article. I don't know. But let me show you here. So I'm on the Domain Manager page. I scroll down. What I do is I go right over here to Name Servers. You'll see it right here in the lower left. Hit Manage. Then what you do in the next page, that loads. They're already pre-filled for your GoDaddy. So what you're going to do is take those two name servers that you had in your email, put the first one in Name Server 1, and the second one in name server 2. So you just completely erase these and then hit OK. When you hit OK, it's going to tell you that the changes are going to take a couple minutes to take place. This can take five minutes, this can take an hour. Okay, it takes some time. So give it a moment. And once that is saved and transferred over, you have now linked your domain at GoDaddy to your hosting account for that domain at HostGator. So at this point, you can now access that WP admin for your WordPress. And start modifying your blog. So happy blogging there. Hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, get with any one of the three of us leaders here at the Leaders Role, and we'll help you out. Take care.